Hi there, everybody. It's Caitlin McDonald with the Social Speak Network. And today we're going to be talking about the six ways to maximize your video content. As you know, Amber and I absolutely love how video makes it easier to create blog posts, to showcase your expertise, and to create a diverse array of media uh, and content that you can then use across your digital marketing efforts. So let's dive in. There is no denying that videos are the most engaging type of content. They bring concepts to life, they capture attention, and they engage viewers. But let's face it, creating quality video content requires sometimes a lot of time and effort. It only makes sense to maximize its potential by converting it into con different content formats. Repurposing content doesn't only save you time and resources, but it also increases your reach. Are you ready to stretch your video content as far as it can go? So here, we're gonna go through the most effective ways to repurpose that content. So, number one, create branded quote graphics with snippets of your video, from your video. Are you creating branded graphic, graphics for your practice? If not, then you should be. Branded graphics tell your story with visuals and they attract your target audience and create a uniform look across your available channels. Create branded graphics by using quotes from any of your video content. You can use tools like Canva, and we have plenty of tutorial videos about how to actually utilize Canva, um, but you can use Canva to create visually appealing quote graphics, uh, and just make sure that your brand colors and fonts are reflected in your images. You want to ensure that your branding is consistent across your social media channels. Next, and we have spoken about this one a lot, uh, is you can turn your video content into blog posts. So are you running low on ideas for your blog? Consider turning your video content into a blog post. You can do this either by creating a blog post on that particular topic and posting the transcript of the video, uh, or you can create a video to go along with content that you've already outlined and created. Well, video content is great. Search engines like Google uh, can't crawl videos. By posting the transcriptions in the form of blog posts, you're creating content for Google to crawl. So this can help with your content rank in a number of ways. Plus, it provides a way to broaden the reach of your video content. Some individuals are gonna be more drawn towards written text, where others are going to be wanting to actually watch that video. The next way uh, to reuse your video content is to trim clips and then share them on Instagram. Videos are one of the most common types of content shared on Instagram, and for good reasons. They capture the attention of your target audience and get better engagement than just a static image. Instagram videos can be anywhere between three and 30 seconds long, unless of course you're utilizing Instagram TV, in which case those videos can be quite a bit longer. I believe right now it's at 10 minutes. Instead of trying to cram everything in uh, that you wanna say into a 60 second video, however, we recommend creating a, a 60 second or 30 second trailer for the blog post. If you head on over to our Instagram account, you'll see plenty of these little clips for each of our blog posts, where really we're just introducing the content and have a call to action to come on over to the website to read more. So it tells people, it's that hook or that call to action that tells people the value that they're gonna be getting to watch the whole thing. The next item that you can do to repurpose the video content is to create a webinar highlight reel. Webinars take so much time and work to organize. Not milking every cent of its worth is a huge mistake that a lot of clients uh, end up doing. Offering a five minute highlight reel will help you extract even more value from your webinar. A highlight reel can be beneficial for those who missed the webinar. It provides a short digest of what they missed. At the same time, it creates the understanding that they'll have to show up to future webinars if they want to get the full content. 
You can also use a highlight reel to promote future webinars and attract new audiences. This will give prospects an idea, idea excuse me, of your style, tone, and what to expect in a particular webinar. So we definitely recommend this, especially if you want to grow your webinar content or webinar audience. You can also turn your videos into a podcast episode. And again, this, as you know, is something that we do over here at the Social Speak Network. Uh, and if you are looking for our podcast, it's over on iTunes or Podbean, you'll be able to find us as well. Just look for a Social Speak Network. Uh, and if you're over on Podbean or iTunes, head on over to YouTube if you want to see the video associated with this podcast. So if you've been planning to start a podcast but don't have the time for it, creating videos might be the solution to your problems. If you've accumulated a ton of video content for other marketing efforts, you might want to repurpose the best content into your podcast episodes. If you are utilizing something like Zoom, which is what we utilize uh, to create your video content, you can easily take the audio from uh, the, the recording and upload that directly to your podcast provider. If you are recording it and all you have is the video, just do a Google search for a free audio extractor and you'll be able to find plenty online to help you with this effort. Then just set up your channel and start uploading. Now the last thing that you can do with your video content is to use pa patient testimonials as a video ad. Patient testimonials can help build your credibility. If you're looking to build a larger, more invested audience, you wanna use customer or client testimonials to promote your brand. Providing social proof and real customer testimonials is one of the most effective ways to gain the trust of potential patients. So let your happy patients do the talking and make an impact on your conversion rates. Make sure though that you've got that patient's approval first before using the video for this purpose. Again, my name's Caitlin McDonald. I'm here with the Social Speak Network. If you have any questions about how to best utilize videos for your own content creation, or if you need help in that process, please head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com, click that free consultation or request a consultation button uh, right on our website, and we're happy to set up a call with you. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on iTunes. See you in the next episode.